Joining us now is Jim Nicholson, former U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See. Welcome back to the program, sir. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You said that uh, Donald Trump and Pope Francis could be a uniquely productive relationship. Why, when so many people in the media are painting them as the odd couple? Not at all. I mean, think of their, their constituencies. Think what their respective sovereign countries stand for. They stand for the elevation of the dignity and the human condition of people writ large. The United States is for trying to bring peace, not just to the United States, but to the world. The Holy See has the same goal. They're trying to improve living conditions for people so that they can get enough to eat and be more free of disease and have hope in their life and have religious freedom and the worship as they, as they choose. These are very common fundamental goals of those two, those two sovereignties and of those two men. When you were ambassador to the Holy See, you focused on human rights and you were actually knighted weren't you, by, by the Pope? Yeah, what a great honor that is. Thank you. Based on your experience, how do you think that the White House and the Holy See can work together on human rights? There are boundless opportunities for them to do that. But, you know, number one, we have more material resources. We're sort of the big temporal superpower, if you will, and they're the spiritual superpower and have, have assets, have, have people, non-governmental organizations, missions, missionaries, charities, everywhere, priests, charities sure. all over the world. So we can help feed uh, into that system with, with more of our material resources. And, you know, the, the people of the United States and the people of the Catholic Church in the United States are very generous. So we, we, we contribute greatly now and we can do more in the future. Well, they also talked a lot about religious freedom. And I know that while you were ambassador there, um, that's an issue that you also worked on. How would you like your legacy to continue? Well, uh, thank you, but th this is <laughs> not about my legacy. I mean, th this is about what these two men and with this great uh, megaphone that they have and the amplification of everything that they say and, and attempt to do can have in the world. And we need to bring about more peace in this world. There, there's a common enemy out there which is called the extremists that want to blow people up and disrupt their lives and that's common to both of us and so we could make you know the sum of the parts greater than the, the whole, whole by by these two people uh, getting to know each other they're off to I think a great start and finding the ways that they can work together just like Ronald Reagan did with Pope John Paul II exactly in fighting communism we are always delighted when you could join us, Ambassador, Ambassador Jim Nicholson, former ambassador to the Holy See. Thank you.